All right, we've had a, a really late start to the day. I had to wake up at like three in the morning with like three hours of sleep to do an interview with uh, Global, yeah, Global News, and then a couple other ones too. So it's been pretty busy here. Um, but yeah, we got our bike, and now we are gonna go see the Tarsiers. And after that, we will head to the Chocolate Hills. We just got some supplies, a couple of Nescafe espresso shots, a big water, and now we're gonna head off. We just got our laundry taken care of, so it's like five dollars for having three kilograms done so it's pretty cheap now we're on Bohol which is one of the islands in central Visayas uh, basically the center of the Philippines and I'm looking at this old church here and I'm assuming that this is because of the earthquake that happened uh, I think it was 2013 uh, the Philippines got hit by a massive earthquake followed by a massive monsoon so it was just disastrous for the country and Bohol where we are now is actually like the center of the earthquake so that only really that explains why the pillars are breaking and all that which is really too bad because it's absolutely amazing this isn't even the most beautiful side of the church but uh it's still cool to check it out now you can't really tell too much that the earthquake was here so I guess that's a good sign that they were able to recover decently but uh, I heard Bohol was almost like entirely destroyed during the earthquake. The Philippines has an extremely Catholic influence because of the Spanish influence they had in the 1500s. And you can tell that by all the Catholic churches. They have a monument of Christ over there. The Philippines have been my best of all my traveling so far. I'm having the best time. We've just been lucky with everything. Everything's gone as planned. Right now we have the best bike I've ever driven. It's super fun and easy to use. And we didn't pay that much for it. It was probably like eight nine dollars for the day so really really cheap and cheap cheap nice i can't get over it like everyone's helpful you can ask anyone for directions and they'll stop what they're doing and like come over to help you and it's funny actually like they obviously don't get enough tourists or they appreciate tourists i'm not sure which one it is but every time we go around like everyone's stopping waving and staring and like but in a very polite way so it's been really fun being here um, looking forward to more of it and tomorrow we go meet uh, a guy who we basically met through Instagram, so that's going to be pretty interesting. This is one of the coolest churches I've ever seen. It's like surrounded by palm trees and it's so old. I'm sure there's a lot of history. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to figure out the history. It's so beautiful. Laura's going to confess her sins. We'll have to wait at least a couple hours for her to finish up. The confession? Yeah. So nice in here. This church must be hundreds of years old. Found a burger joint. It's buy one, take one free. You can buy a hamburger here for about 72 hamburgers for 70 cents. Thank you, angels. Laura and I got the, uh, the nice pleasure of meeting all the village kids. They come in like we're eating at a burger stand and they come up to us and then they start asking for money. But instead we bought them burgers. And then uh, those kids go off with their burgers, like with the biggest smiles. And the next thing we know, there's two more kids that come looking for burgers. So it's kind of funny, but they, it but they looked, definitely they, made their day. So like there was like one little girl who was like running away with the biggest smile on her face. Yeah, they're so happy. Like they're, they're just so excited. The, everyone in Philippines has been nice to us. We might as well return the favor. Yeah. Here's a not so lucky church. All the walls crumbled and all the brick has fallen apart. You can actually see the roof over there is totally mangled. And that's all, again from the earthquake that happened. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the- We made it. Con conservation, <laughs> having a hard time there. And so as you can see here, we have the Tarsier Conservation Area. Conservation Area, area and we are ah! here. So here's our entrance ticket. It's actually really smart. They give you a postcard so you can send it home after you're done. And realistically, mom and dad, you are gonna get this postcard before I get this vlog up because I'm way behind. So our friends told us that the Tarsiers can die if they get too stressed. And here are the rules. It says, please observe in silence upon entering. Uh, no shouting, no flash photography, no touching of the tar's ears. Avoid shaking the branch, smoking, and eating is strictly prohibited. Basically, just don't do anything around the tar's ears. They are easily frightened or stressed, and they may die. We're just going to try to steal a couple, put them in the bag, and bring them home. But, Alive. Uh, 
All right, folks, here's a quick update. We are 40 seconds in, still no tar's ears. There's one there, it is so small. So small. It started to rain, it started to rain, so they put a protection over top to keep the tar's ears dry. Might not be an overly interesting vlog because they're so small it's hard to see them, but it's either asleep or dead. Look over here. What time is it? <laughs> time to pray. <laughs> the selfie pole has never been so helpful because the tarsiers are just like out of reach. So now I can get nice and personal with them without breaking the rules too much. He's turning his head slowly. So where is it? Oh, there he is. Hello. Look at there. Oh, he's slowly making his way downtown. Making it. Come on, man. Move your thing out of the way. Move your thing. <laughs> he's like, man, I've seen things you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Can you move? come look at this? I think it's going to be really hard to get a Tarsier selfie, Laura. Have the Tarsier hold the pole? Probably won't work so well. 100 Tarsiers in there. The largest tarsier is six inches, so they're extremely like small. They're like so apparently, because they look so lazy right now, but apparently at night they come out and they can jump three to five meters, but they're nocturnal, so they're not very active during the day, but they're very they blurred agile. Vision during the day. Blurred vision. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. They don't really notice when you move. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Do they have good hearing? Um, yeah, they are sensitive. Sensitive hearing. Yeah. yeah. The only predators they face are cats. So they have to keep cats out of this little reserve. But uh, there's about six or seven tarsiers in this sanctuary. They have about a hundred in the back there. They're all protected. Time for the tarsier gift shop. You too can have your very own clip-on tarsier. They come in all shapes and sizes. Well, I'm very happy with how that turned out. We Look, got to see five or six tarsiers. Oh yes, we're doing that for sure. That was actually really cool. I was expecting them to be a bit bigger, so it was hard to take photos or videos of them, but Laura got some really good videos. Because she has a camera that's not fish-eyed, and she can zoom in on hers. We have just arrived at the Chocolate Hills. We're gonna go check out the top viewpoint. But that's so cool. They look like giant Hershey kisses. All right. This is a workout. We have made it to the viewing point, the very top of one of these little chocolate hills. It's kind of cool. It's just like palm trees everywhere, and then these random little humps. 45 minutes till sunset, and we have to start heading back. And we've probably got about an hour and a half, so we'll be doing a bit of driving in the dark. But the bike has headlights, so the sooner we get back, the better. Girl. Laura vlogs now too, so it's like two stupid people with backpacks running around with two cameras to their face. Just it's getting excessive here, folks. Sometimes she bought a selfie pole too now, so now I have a pole. She's got a pole. It's literally like a film crew. 